The Reporting Tools module is where you export as scheduled reports to be sent out frequently. The option chosen in the upper section determines the data presented within the lower section, which is also your report. You can either choose to show the report for a specific scan schedule, or if you want to see the results for a target group. You can even select or deselect which targets that should be included in the report from either the scan schedule or target group within the targets grid. Just as in Manage Targets, the grid is customizable and all columns are filterable in order for you to include only the desired information within the report. So if you for example want to extract a report for all your high risks, all you need to do is to apply the high risk filter on the risk level column. Filtering can be applied to multiple columns at the same time and by enabling export available for example and apply an additional filter saying yes, the report will show all high risks which has a public export available. Filterings applied on these columns can be saved within report templates and this is saved by right clicking and choose save report template. These can later be used if you wish to apply that specific filtering on the report. All reports can either be exported manually from the tool by using the export report option or they can be scheduled to be sent out frequently. During the manual export, you can choose which format you want to export the report in, either PDF, XML or Excel, or what level of reporting it should be, management, summary or detailed. By expanding a finding, you will be presented with more detailed information, such as which port we detected this vulnerability on, more detailed information about the vulnerability itself, the solution we suggest you to apply in order for you to remediate the risk, but also we let you know what we detected during the scan in gathered information. This information will make it easier for you to troubleshoot and to understand why this risk was reported. Marking something as a false positive can be done by right-clicking the finding and by doing so you are left with an additional option to report this false positive to Outpost24 technical team. They will then begin an investigation to verify if Outpost24 in any way could improve this check based on the reported false positive. As you can see, when right-clicking a finding, there are multiple other options such as request clarification. This is useful whenever you have any questions regarding a finding. This option will also, just as the false positive, report to the Outpost24 technical team, which will assist you with your question. You can also assign a finding as a task within our built-in ticketing system. Run a verification scan to verify if this specific risk is still present on the target, add comments for the risk, and also accept this risk either during a limited period of time or forever. The Outpost24 solution comes with multiple different kind of reporting, such as the solution-based report, which is designed to show you your quick wins. It summarizes all solutions for the risks so if PHP is upgraded to a later version, 75.9% of all risks will be remediated for the targets within the external scan schedule, which concerns 485 risks on four targets, which we saw in the previous tab. Selecting that slice of the chart will show you all the concerned risks in the lower section, in which you can perform the same actions as in the previous tab. Overview will show you your most vulnerable families, the most vulnerable ports, how many high, medium and low risks you have, and also how many accepted risks there are for each risk level. Trend displays how vulnerable the targets in the reports are over time. In here you can also select different time spans to look at, which are a week, months or years. So if I set three months, you can see how the trend graph changes. This report also displays number of findings for each risk level, number of accepted risks for each risk level, delta findings trends for all targets, and delta ports trends for all targets. 
Delta compares two reports for a chosen time period and shows the number of added, removed and unchanged risks on the targets. The lower graph also shows these changes in ports. If you wish to see which targets that has been added, just press the red part of the bar and these risks will be shown in the lower section. Two additional tabs can be toggled by pressing the tab with the three dots. In these you can schedule your reports to be sent out frequently and also add any custom text to either at the beginning or at the end of the report. 